stepping up the fitness regime. Now on BBC One, it's everyone's favourite leisure centre manager. <laughs> Get fit with Pavarotti, the Luciano Pavarotti workout system. Is that him? Ah, there's the rest of him. Isn't he wonderful? Hmm? Well, he's a tenor. I bet you're a bass. <clears throat> actually, <clears throat> actually, you may be able to help me, young lady. No, Leslie. Leslie Joseph. Oh, right. Well, Joe, you see, I'm determined to get fit. Uh, well, I'm very fit, as you can see. I work out. No doubt. With me, it's 30 minutes of moderate exercise five times a week. However, by way of research, I'm buying up all the second-hand workout videos I can find. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Good. In fact, I'm not doing anything this afternoon. <clears throat> Richard Baker's classic jerks. Pick a buttercup with Julian Cleary. Or this evening, you can come to a workout with me. <clears throat> I think I'll take all of these, please, Joe. Please note that I am walking home. A lot of people, me included, need to learn to take more exercise. Moderate exercise, the type that tends to make us glow rather than sweat. 30 minutes a day, five times a week. That's what my doctor says anyway. Right, I'm off to evaluate these old workout tapes. See if there's anything they can teach us. Up to, up to. Everybody, come along. Keep fit. Up you come. Feet apart. Tum tums in. Oh, Jim, you do look divine back there. Right, down you go. Straight. Fascinating. There we go. You're way ahead of me. Gordon. 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 What do you think you're doing? Doctor, you're on TV. That's my job. Now, what are you doing with those tapes? If you must know, what I'm doing is seeing if any of these old workout wizards have stumbled across anything important that I didn't know about how to get fit. Well, I very much doubt it. They've all been saying the same thing over the years, namely that you keep in shape by doing more exercise. No particular mystery to that. Eh, my point exactly. What is? That is the point I was coming to. You and I are thinking along the same lines, and I shall make it my business to go out and tell the world. Right then. Uh, while you're there, Doctor, do you want to see my tongue? Seen it before, thank you. Courtney oh. Julie! Oh, it's you. Allow me to help you load up your car. Suit yourself. And what is this I see lurking underneath a hundred jars of baby food? All right, they're all jars, but I'm a working woman. I haven't got time to mash things up for him. I'm talking about the fitness video, Julie. Princess dies, kiss, kiss, goodbye to cellulite. Well, I caught sight of myself in a three-way mirror. Everything's dropping. You don't need all these faddish ideas, Julie. To stay fit and healthy, you don't need to go working out and covering yourself with sweat. What you need to do is moderate exercise. Yeah, but it's got to hurt a bit, though, hasn't it? Wrong! It doesn't have to hurt to be healthy. Tortured people are not healthy people. Remember that and you've taken a step in the right direction. Well, you could be right. This isn't hurting me any road. Good, good. 46 steps, that's enough, Julie. In for a penny, in for a pound. I'm not counting. Well, I am counting, and that's enough. Self, self, self. On the right. There's a lot to be said for dance classes and aerobics. 
but make sure you've got a teacher who doesn't get you doing too much. Take it slowly, but keep at it. You don't have to sweat like a pig and go home on a stretcher. I do like your top, Joe. Yes. I bet you get the pick of the jackets in that shot. Do you like these sessions, Ben? Up until now, yes. Joe, what I want to know is what brings you to these classes? Is it the social side? Meeting new people? Drinking water together? Talking over problems? Or the general improvement in fitness? Yes! Well, there we have it. In a nutshell, straight from the horse's mouth. Oh, thank you very much. James Hearn was a teenager with a dream. He yearned to be a pop star, but he lacked two important qualities, lung capacity and confidence. One day, James was reading about his hero, Bruce Dickinson, when he discovered what the rock singer did for fun. That gave James an idea. He took up beekeeping, only joking. <laughs> yes, James began fencing, and it wasn't long before his life took on a whole new thrust. I've been fencing for about seven years now. It's a lot more energetic than a lot of people might think, and through fencing, I think I'm fit enough to do all the things I want to do in my life. Oh. James discovered that waggling his epee was a good route to fitness and fame. It was music that led me to fencing and now fencing has given me the fitness to fulfill my ambitions in music. James is now the lead singer with his own pop group. They've recently signed with Polygram, so it's on guard the hit parade. The singing swordsman is aiming to join you. Touché. So, what is the secret of the workout? Well, there is no secret, and frankly looking for it is a wild goose chase. If we spent as much time exercising as we do searching for novelty, we'd be a lot healthier. The important thing is to be active. I wonder, is there any exercise value in a goose chase? Oh, it's you. I suppose those are the tapes you brought back. I don't suppose any chance of a refund is there. This is a charity shop. Ah, only joking. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? On the telly? Yes! With those women! Which one were you? The good-looking one. That's right. The good-looking one. Oh, you say the nicest things. <clears throat> a lot of people have said that, yes. <clears throat> right, then. Bye. Tenko, that was it. Getting fit with Britass is the subject of a new BBC booklet. Price three ninety five. It's available by credit card on O double nine O double one double eight double nine, or you can send a check to PO Box seven, London W five two GQ. Thank you.